Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Fibers, Natural Fibers, Wool, wherein we'll talk about anim animals yielding wool, processing fibers into wool. Silk, Life History of Silkworm, Processing of Silk. So what comes to your mind when you think of the terms fibers and fabrics? Now forget about fibers, think of fabrics. Fabrics refer to the first thing that you can think of as the clothes that you wear. During summers you wear clothes made up of cotton. You prefer wearing cotton during summers because they keep you cool. During winters you wear woolen clothes. Not only wool and cotton, you also have many other varieties of fabric available. For example, silk, you have um, polyester of which curtains and many dresses are also made up of. You also have nylon, you have terricot, you have polycot. So there are a lot of um, different fabrics which are available in the market and they are used for uh, making clothes, carpets, um, curtains and many things like that. Now in this lesson we are going to talk about some of the important fabrics. Now mostly we will talk about the natural fibers that is mostly we are going to discuss about wool and silk. So when I say silk the first thing that you can uh, relate to is the traditional silk sarees in India. Uh, you also have dresses made up of silk. Uh, when I say wool, what you can think of is the woolen clothes, the jackets, sweaters, caps, socks which you wear during winters. So here we are going to discuss about how is wool produced, uh, what all is involved in the processing of wool, how is silk obtained and uh, the entire process in the processing of silk. So that is going to be our agenda in this lesson. Now before that, let us try to understand what are fibers because these are the fabrics like if I say silk or I say uh, cotton or I say polycotton, they are all fabrics of which our clothes are made up of. But what are fibers? So fibers are thread like structures which form the fabrics. So if you look at a woolen sweater or if you look at a wool, so the wool itself consists of a lot of uh, thin threads or filament like structures. So these threads they are nothing but fibers. So fibers together form the fibers when woven together they form fabrics. So these are thread like structure which forms the constituent of various composite materials. So what sort of materials like when you talk about wool, so it is also made up of some thread like fibers. If you talk about silk, silk is also made up of some threads. So if you try to closely look at the silk cloth which you have. So when you look at the cloth, you really do not get to see the threads. But when you look at the corner of the cloth, you can actually see that there are thin threads which, which have been actually woven together to form that entire cloth. So all these thin thread like structures, they are the fibers. So silk is made up of silk fibers, wool is made up of woolen fibers and so on. Now when we talk about the types of fibers, they are broadly classified into two types that is natural fibers and artificial fibers. Natural, anything which is natural. That means it exists in nature. So we do not produce it or we do not make it artificially. It naturally exists in nature. So they are called natural fibers. So these fibers are obtained from plant or animal sources. Now let me give you some examples of natural fibers. In fact silk is an example of natural fiber. Why? Because silk is obtained from the silk worm. And what is silk worm? Silk worm is a, a tiny insect. So it is uh, for, like how you have uh, the caterpillars, the small worms. So from those worms we obtain natural silk. So that is an animal from where you obtain the silk. Similarly, if you talk about wool, wool is obtained from a lot of animals like goat, sheep, uh, camels, yak. So all these animals, they are the sources for wool fi woolen fibers. Similarly, you think of other examples like cotton. Cotton is obtained from the cotton plant. See, this is the cotton plant. 
you talk about flax jute hemp koi these are all obtained from plant different types of plants and on the screen also you can see the different types of uh, plants from where uh, many natural fibers are obtained only wool and silk these are the two examples which are obtained from animal sources so that is why wool and silk these are examples of animal fibers because they are obtained from animals whereas these are examples of plant fibers because they are obtained from plants so all these fibers are called natural fibers because these plants they existed in nature so we did not artificially produce them in fact uh, you would have also seen clothes made up of linen so linen is also obtained from flax plant so these are all examples of natural fibers however these days you would have seen that you obtain you you get to see dress materials which are made up of uh, fabric which looks similar to silk or which looks similar to cotton but they are not the natural silk or the natural cotton therefore they are obtained at a cheaper price but their look is almost the same so that is where it comes into uh, existence the artificial fibers so as the name suggests they are they do not exist in nature they are man made fibers they are also known as synthetic fibers so some of the examples are nylon rayon polyester in fact if you look at these examples in fact especially for rayon rayon is also known as artificial silk you know why because you look at the threads of the rayon they also have that shiny appearance like silk so if you actually look at a cloth made up of rayon it 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 has the appearance of silk so it is called artificial silk but since it it is not uh, uh, obtained naturally so its production is under the control of human beings so if we want more rayon we can produce more rayon so that that's why rayon is comparatively cheaper also it is available at a lower cost as compared to the natural silk polyester is another example and nylon nylon which is extremely strong at the same time flexible and which makes it very useful uh, in making ropes uh, in also in making objects where you need lot of strength for example the skipping ropes they are also made up of nylon the ropes in the parachutes they are also made up of nylon so there are so many places where you can see the application of these artificial fibers also in fact these days in most of the things you will see that artificial fibers have been used because of their low cost and easier availability so as i discussed based on the sources of these natural fibers those fibers which exist in nature whether they are obtained from plant or animal sources they are classified as plant and animal fibers so examples of plant fibers would be cotton jute linen flax coir these are all examples of plant fibers cotton jute flax hemp coir so they are all examples of plant fibers whereas wool is an example of animal fiber because it is uh, obtained mostly from animals like sheep yak goat etc also silk is an example of a natural fiber because it is obtained from silk worm silk worm is the caterpillar stage of the silk moth silk moth looks somewhat little similar to the butterfly uh, but it has a life cycle D during its life cycle once it reaches into the silk worm stage and during this stage it produces silk so silk and wool are examples of two animal fibers which are obtained from animals thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.